Welcome to another episode of the EV Show. Today we're going to go over what happened in Bonneville. Good luck, bad luck, no luck. Let's find out. All right, we are back from Bonneville. We've gotten most of the salt off the car, most of the rust off the car, and the other red car is at the other shop up in Northern California with Jim Hooger Hyde, our driver. At World Finals, it was, it was tough. We took two cars out there. We tried to race two cars for the first time, so uh, there's a lot of logistics with doing that. So we'll go over the original Electroliner first because she had a pretty good run. We had our technician, Christopher Spicer, as our driver and uh, he's a rookie he's never driven before so he's kind of cutting his teeth on learning the car getting up to speed and plus Bonneville and unfortunately his first run he had a he had a spin out he had a pretty good high speed spin out in the car I'm a fast little guy I put it to the floor I don't leave nothing there it's on it's on it's on it's on it's going it's going it's going it's back to speed all the time um, so we had to go through uh, the officials and get the car inspected and make sure nothing on the car caused the spin out. It, it turned out it was caused by um, uh, it, 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 Chris got slightly off a of course and hit some rougher salt and that spun the car around. And um, the the visual, his, his line of sight was a little bit difficult with his helmet and stuff. So we made some changes. Uh, we got checked off through the SCTA officials and Chris went out and made another run, a successful run, and so he is now licensed as a Bonneville SCTA driver. So congratulations, Chris. I'm jealous. I've, I want to do it too. I still haven't driven the car at speed. And Chris has gone faster than every one of us in the shop. He hit like 196 at one point or something like that. So. Uh, congratulations, I'm, I'm jealous, maybe next year. Um, but so now he's ready, we're gonna start licensing him up. He's gonna go, uh, next weekend we're gonna go back to El Mirage. It's a little bit closer, a little bit easier to run. Uh, and we're gonna have fun with Electroliner, although people are calling it a Honda Civic now. It's so reliable, it's just point and shoot and go. And really the big, big change is the body that uh, Flying Dutchman did. He just did a fantastic job on the body. Um, a lot of people like the aluminum. We wanted something that was a little bit timeless because we're using an EV drive, so it makes a little bit of sense to balance that out. And the car's fantastic. Yeah, canopy, new body. Uh, we still have a lot of changes. There's a lot of, there's some uh, rough stuff around the edges that we're gonna finish up, but we just wanted to get it done in time to get to Bonneville and run the car with the body. So um, thank you, Dutchman. Thank you, Chris. You guys did a great job. And uh, yeah, maybe next year, uh, I'll jump in it. The red car, oh my. Uh, so this is the Costella Hooger Hyde Electroliner. And we developed our new drive system with the reduction and a two-part reduction system in there. And we had issues when we went to Speed Week with it. We had alignment issues. And we brought the car back, we changed some stuff and uh, improved it, yet we still had alignment issues and, and it was, um, it's just a tough problem. It's the physics and the physical space that we're trying to fit everything into. The rear of the car is extremely uh, tight on real estate. It was built with a motorcycle engine in mind. Um, and a motorcycle engine, a motorcycle gas tank are, are quite small compared to a full-size EV battery and a full-size you know, Tesla drive unit and our reduction mechanism. So. Uh, we got the car up to 240, so it went faster than the class record, which is currently held by Electroliner. We're competing with ourselves for some reason. 
Uh, I think because we're just having fun. We're just out there having fun. But uh, so it beat the record. It, it did a pretty good run. Did 240 on 600 amps. So we're only at about you know 50, 60 percent power at that point at 240. So we're really curious to see what the car is going to do. Um, unfortunately, it needs a lot of room to stretch its legs out. We can't really get it up to those kinds of high speeds at El Mirage. So at this point, we're really going to have to wait until Bonneville next year to, to see if that car will break 300. We, we think it will, um, and we're just having a lot of fun trying. So uh, we got some repairs to make to that car, but uh, this one we're going to do the same. We're going to get it, get it uh, polished up and just, you know, basically aesthetics at this point. I mean, that's all you do if you have a Honda Civic, right? You go to the car wash, you just kind of, <laughs> we'll just charge it and drive it. Um, fantastic car. So... So that's where we're at. We appreciate you guys joining and following our saga and, and uh, seeing where we're at with the cars. We're having a lot of fun with it. And uh, this year there was a couple more teams out there on the salt. So it was really nice to uh, be part of getting people motivated, inspired to get their, their cars out there. We've talked to quite a few of you guys that have called us, talked to us about building cars. And uh, so we appreciate that. I mean, next year is even gonna be uh, a lot more um, electric vehicles on the salt. We look forward to helping you guys build those cars and have fun taking them out there. And uh, yeah, have fun. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.